So uh, your trainings is happening through action, right? Not lecturing or, you know, uh, trying to give them um, uh, some text to read and after that to see their reflection. I totally agree. I was uh, imagining the things that way you were saying. So artists need to do actions with their uh, attendees in order to reach some outcomes. So, yeah. We do some lectures too, but we, we, we're always supposed to have more physical activities than we have lectures. You know, sometimes we need to, to lecture, to, to give, uh, to frame it in, so yeah, to, to frame it and to, yeah. Because when you learn, when you learn something, you need to connect it with something, you know, in forehand. So if you just start to be sort of creative or to make people walk around without explaining why they will say, and they would just shut down. So it's, mm. uh, we always need to explain a, a little bit as well. Can we can we organize uh, uh, everything you said in uh, um, sort of a steps? I mean, first of all, uh, what we need to provide you know, for people like you uh, to facilitate them, to make them easy, organize their trainings. So for what is the first thing, the second thing, the third thing as a step model here? Well, I, I'm, I'm just curious about, um, since this is such a huge subject and, and there are huge companies that uh, have worked these steps out and uh, you need to pay a lot of money to, to, to reach, you know, those steps. Like Kunstgrepp in Denmark, you probably looked at that. If not, you should. They have definitely steps. Uh, it, it's, I think it's, it's hard actually, and it's not because I'm, I don't want to share, but it's hard for us to, to, to just describe steps and say that if you do, if you provide this for your train trainers, is that what you call them, trainers, your artist trainers, mm -hmm. then they will succeed. You need to establish trust with the participants and then it's about giving them room and space as we said and then everyone needs to understand the goal and agree that you want to go to the same place so to speak and then you have to end with a sort of <laughs> agreeable path forward in order to get to where here you come it's it's that easy so to speak but it's <laughs> in there it's a it's, it's a lot of steps as well of course but what is really good about what you're doing is what i really want to applaud is that uh, and what has been important to you and i and, and me and the other people in this company and kunstgrepp who i was talking about is that pointing at artists as good trainers in companies is really good and they need to be pointed at because a lot of them lack confidence in their own competency when it comes to being able to facilitate that kind of process. And they're good at it if they train at it and they uh, do it, you know, in a in a manner that they own. Uh, yeah. Right. And, and and I think that it's it's a lot of artists that could uh, um, have extra income doing this kind of job who is not doing it because no one is pointing at them. So that is really good. And that, but then also I think that uh, it's it's a good thing to, to try to find uh, ways to enhance creativity. But I think in order to create something, you don't really need necessarily creativity. You need... Um, need to find what's already there and just put it together in in new ways to succeed if you're an artist or any kind of trainer going into a company to make change uh like you and i was saying in the beginning as you know <laughs> you need to have a ceo or someone uh, in the management uh being very precise about what they want uh um what the what the 
object with is like you will not never succeed as an artist trainer or any kind of trainer as you know if what you think uh, you cannot work too hard before you start doing something uh, like to get the, the specific uh, task or goal or uh, so I think that to train your artist trainers or to tell them that they need to be uh, when, if they're going to do any kind of job in a company <clears throat> be specific about what do you want what should have happened when we ha when this project is over what should have happened and then the mm -hmm. CEO or the manager will say well I I want all the employees to be more healthy okay so how do we how do we measure that well we go from uh, 3.5% uh, sick leave till 2.8 in a year. I say, okay, right? So how do we do that? But then he or she has a specific goal and we can work with that. But if he says or she says, oh, I just, uh, I just want people to be more happy at the workplace. Okay, how do we measure that? uh then we have to have some interviews in front midway and in the end maybe so we can sort of say you know we have a starting point and something is going on and then in the end but it's it's or no we want a new strategy our company is going to go in a different direction so i want i want something new to happen okay or i want a new product to be invented i want everybody to be a part of that in the, our company. Okay, so you have 2,300 people in your company and they're a part of it. Yeah, that's my goal. Okay. Can I do it? Can I not do it? So, but if the, the, it's really, really risky to, for any trainers to go in and enhance creativity if we don't know, like we started with, what the goal for the CEO is. And we have uh, had experiences obviously, since I'm talking about this, where we have been too shallow on this part of the process <laughs> and we ended up doing something that they did not order. Uh, it was good, but uh, it wasn't what they wanted. So they were not happy. So 